So the match itself was great, Sami Zayn beating Chad Gable in a very, very good match. And what's scary, though, is I think they could even do better with more, <clears throat> excuse me, with more time. And I was glad they were given the main event spot. They deserve that. It kind of continues the importance that the Intercontinental Championship has been treated with under Gunther for the last two years. It's not like someone won it and then it went right back to being a prop or a mid-card championship or whatever. No, it still feels like a prestigious prize in this company, which is key to not lose that momentum the championship has had for the last two years. But Sami Zayn wins clean, and it would have been a great moment to close the show with him, you know, standing tall and whatnot, but it would have been a tad underwhelming to not kind of give us an indicator as far as what was next. Now, Chad Gable was confronted by Bronson Reed before the match, with Bronson saying, I want next, because Bronson did beat Sammy about a month ago on Raw, clean. Um, I think he was off a distraction, but he did beat Sami Zayn before he won the championship. They had a rematch the following week that ended in a no contest, so they have some unfinished business there. But they did that, and instead of Bronson Reed attacking Sami Zayn, it was indeed Chad Gable going heel, suplexing Sami literally right out of his wife's arms. I thought that was amazingly well done. The dichotomy there and the attention to detail with Sami Zayn being attacked in front of his family, and that being the reason why Chad Gable snapped after he was attacked in front of his family uh, six months ago, I thought was just perfect. The whole thing was perfectly executed, and now we have a heel Chad Gable on our hands here as he guns for the Intercontinental Championship. I think this is the right route to take. I was very skeptical about Chad going heel. I still am. I still feel like he should have been the one to win the championship in Mania. I'm not... I will die on that hill. But I think the way they've pitted, pivoted has uh, been really well done. I'm really excited to see where they go from here. Yeah, I thought the match itself was really good. Uh, you said I like how the Intercontinental Championship is still in the limelight. I mean, honestly, I feel like it's looked upon bigger than the World Heavyweight Championship. But uh, I thought Sammy and Chad had a good match here. The tension to detail, like you said, him suplexing him literally out of his wife's arms. I mean, Jesus, I popped the crowd. Crowd, I thought people were going to hop the rail. Um, <laughs> I thought it was good to see Chad, like I said, have that heel dynamic, tap Sammy in front of his family like he was attached in front of his. I mean, I thought it was good stuff then in the show, honestly. No, it was great stuff. I thought the way they set that up was great. Um, they can stretch this out the entire summer if they wanted to. Again, it's all a matter of what shows they end up on, although I would be very disappointed if they do this feud only through Backlash and have Sami Zayn beat Chad Gable in a rematch of Backlash and then around that same time they draft Gable to SmackDown or Sami to SmackDown and they don't get a chance to finish the feud. Um, I think that'd be really disappointing. I think this should end, honestly, with Chad Gable at least for a little bit, if not for a while, holding and winning that Intercontinental Championship. I think there's a real story there. He's deserved it. Um, getting him away from Alpha Academy, making him a real Serious heel on this show, I feel like, is the way to go. Um, and also the idea as well, I talked about it on Hashtag yesterday, but people have been pitching since Monday night the idea of Chad Gable turning heel and joining a faction with the Creed Brothers. Now, I know everyone's in a faction. I get it. Um, that's one of my main criticisms of AEW, where it was over the years. But I do think that would be a natural fit. Get him away from Alpha Academy, giving him the Creed Brothers. Yeah, it is very reminiscent of Team Angle, but I feel like it would benefit the Creed who have been treading water for a while now, haven't won a match on TV in many, many months. And it would also give Chad Gable his own little faction to kind of build off of and help him generate more heat and stuff like that. So uh, your thoughts on that idea, or is that something that doesn't really interest you? I like it. I like you said, I think it gives like Team Angle vibes, helps the Creed's a lot. I mean, I think they're good, but they just need a little prop up. Um, I think they've been on the show. They said they haven't really won anything lately. They've been on the show. They just... I don't know, like they're kind of just treading water at this point. So I think teaming them up with Sam or with uh, Chad would make sense and kind of prop them up a little bit from what they've been doing. But uh, I think it makes sense to get away from the goofs in the Alpha Academy and give them some serious guys to be around. It is worth mentioning too. Not only does Chad Gable have a you know gripe now towards the Intercontinental Championship in a rematch and a claim to a rematch with Sami Zayn, wanting rematch and or wanting revenge rather, <clears throat> that would make a whole lot of sense. Bronson Reed also in the conversation. 